Hello, this is Lee from The Game Creators and this time we're going to take a close look at the latest progress of the terrain system. So here we can see a blank terrain. It's a single 1024, 1024, which will be broken up into patches, but you don't need to worry about all that technical stuff. We're just going to show you how to use the sculpting tool. So as you might imagine, if you remember, if you're a Game Guru Classic user, you have a circular brush and you can use the leftmost button to paint. Now, right away, I want to say something about this little pointy cone. We're going to add something called attenuation or some version of it. As you can see, this is a rather linear slope between the very center, which is in the pointy part, and the outer edge, which is practically unchanged. And attenuation is a description of how that change happens between the outer edge and the center. So don't worry too much about these pointy cones. There will be different options of attenuation and potentially even custom attenuation. All you really need to know for now is that I can create little points and I can create little holes in the ground. Um, I can change the size so I can have a big cone or a little one. I'm really making a massive mess, but I'm just going to add it all together and you can sort of see all the different controls. So obviously you can change your brush sizes before. And we'll just go through the modes one by one. So flatten, of course, if you just select that and then hold down the left, it will take the current height and flatten it to that point. Maybe if I actually drop down on the perspective a little, so you can see it more like you would see even the first person perspective. And you can see it looks very different when you're looking at it from the side. Um, we've got smooth, uh, sorry, flatten, as I said. Then you've got your smoothing option. So that's just what you saw before raising and lowering and then of course rough is a rough version of those two things level is the idea that you can have it remembers the level that you actually previously painted so if you had a canyon you could have a left side and a right side and then you can actually make sure that it's on the same level and blend so let's just increase the brush size a little bit and blend just takes all of the pixels um, within your brush again respecting the attenuation and it will sort of come up with an average. So what I'm going to do now, because at the moment you're probably not really seeing it in its best light, if I just go to smooth and just start creating some hills here, some hills there, like so, fill in that hole. Um, so you're starting to recognize the same sort of functionality that you have in the Game Guru Classic terrain system. But here's something that you don't have, a box mode. So switch it to box, change the size a little bit, go to flatten, and now I can basically flatten out foundations for any buildings or cities that you may want to do. You've also got your usual rays, so you can create plateaus, you can rotate the box, so you can rotate it and do such a thing like that. You can maybe sink in uh, some, some foundations, you can bring that down. And it's a really great addition to be able to have a box shape in addition to a circle shape. So you can see that with a combination of uh, squares, which you can cut out a square path if you want to. I'll go back to circle. Um, I've just got to increase the size a little bit. You can do all these wonderful things. And uh, cut out a river bed if you want to do a river. You can cut out that really simple. Um, the current terrain system we have, it's called node-based. So there'll be another one here on this side. There'll be another one on the other side. And the idea is when you sculpt, you want to be able to sculpt. And then as it goes on to the next patch, that that is a nice smooth transition. And so as far as you're concerned, you'll just think you're editing like miles and miles of, of, of high precision vertices. There's actually lots of clever things going on in the background to make sure that it's all organized and you don't actually have to store the entire world in memory at any one time. But of course, because we're in 64 bit, you could store it all in memory at one time, but that's besides the point. So that's a sneak peek of the current progress of the terrain system. We're almost finished with the sculpting and we're about to start on the texturing. So keep an eye out for that. Check out the link below for a great discount on Game Guru Max. Don't forget, next Wednesday we're going to do a live broadcast full of Game Guru Max goodness. So go to the Game Guru forums and check out when that's going to be. Also, don't forget to subscribe and please do share this video.